Welcome back guys to another video here at Hostways Exotics and today we are going to be feeding the water moccasin and this is the Echistrodon Pissivorus man. This is one of the world's only semi-aquatic pit vipers and is a awesome snake to keep in captivity but one you always want to be respectful of and be on the lookout because this snake is unpredictable man and he is a ferocious eater and he is not super defensive but he will stand his ground as always. And another cool factor about this, this thing is related to the copperhead. That is the sister species to him. And they can also interbreed to make a cotton head. If you ever want to see one of those, maybe we'll do a breeding session with that in the future. Just to have maybe a little hybrid mix going on. But I don't know. Maybe we'll just keep them separate. Maybe breed some separate species and try to get some morphs going on with them. But you know, say let's get started with this here video and give me one second let me make sure we're all set up we got a good angle we'll throw a little mouse frame in here man see him up here jumping around he's all over the place He missed the first time, but he got him that second time. Good Lord have mercy. Look at this guy today. He's showing up to show out, huh? God do. Ooh. He said he got him again. Yeah, he showed up to show out on this episode, man. We got mouse jumping and doing all kinds of stuff. And this is going to be a whole lot worse on the mouse because it's going to help that venom to get through his system just that much quicker. And, yep, see, you know, he's going to be part of the, part of the gang now. As a meal. I was also thinking about maybe in the future, maybe I could do a, a video of him eating some fish or something like that because these snakes are native fish eaters, hence the name Pissivorus, like, you know, pescatarian, you know, that word is also related to the Greek word for fish thing so maybe that'd be something we can do in the future and also think about doing like a video like nerd did with feeding the copperheads some hornworms i thought that'd be pretty cool to see i also got to put some water in this guy's bowl i just cleaned it out i figured since last week's video the guy want to jump in there and poop in his water bowl Figure I'll leave this one empty. I'm going to wait till he eats it. And then we'll fill it up with water. And put his house and all the rest of that stuff back in the enclosure. 